Hello everyone, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, back again for another video. This time is going to be Cambridge Farmby Checkpoint from Mathematics Paper 1, April 2021. You're not allowed to use a calculator. With that, let's start the paper. Question 1. Why the missing number in the box? Dash plus 650 is 1000. So, if we bring 650 to the other side, 1000 minus 650 is 350. That's the answer. Question 2. Complete the calculations. 30 plus 80 plus 60 is equal to 170. 40 plus dash plus 30 equals 200. We bring both of them to the other side. We get 200 minus 40 minus 30, 130. That's the answer. Question 3. Here are four digit cards. Use each of the digits once to make a total as a multiple of 10. So something plus something in these digits has to be 10. 4 plus 6 is 10, right? So we put 4 here and we put 6 here. And we can put the 5 and 2 wherever you want. If we add them, it's 80. Unit 54 plus 26, it's 80. Or if you switch the positions of 4 and 6. Anyway, as long as 2 and 5 are in 10s, 4 and 6 are in 1s, it's correct. Question 4. A. There are 205 students in one year group in a school. 97 are boys. Why how many are girls? 205 minus 97 because girls and boys are the only ones. And when you subtract, we get the answer 108. That's the answer. B. There are 223 students in another year group. Classrooms can have a maximum of 30 students. Right, how many classrooms are needed for this year group? So this year group has 223. So we just divide by 30. We get 7 with the remainder 13. And we need an extra classroom for them. Those 13 left, so it's 8 classrooms. That's the answer. Question 5. We want these values in years dollar. $7.57 dollars allowance up because 5 is there in the 10th place, so $8. 12.49. There's a 4 here in the 10th place, and that's less than 5, so we don't round up. It's just $12. Question 6. A rectangle has an area of 35 centimeters squared. The width is 5 centimeters, like the length. 35 by 5. And that's equal to 7 centimeters. Because when you take 7 into 5, that's the area, and that's 35. That's the answer. Question 7. Here are four bags of beads. Each bag is white and black beads. A bead is selected from each one without looking. Right letter to make these statements true. Bag dash has even chance of picking a black bead. Bag C because it has two black, two white. Bag dash has the best chance of picking a black bead. So this is 3 out of total 8. This is 2 out of total 3. This is 3 out of total 4. Bag A actually has the highest chance. Bag dash has the greatest chance of picking a white bead. Bag D, as we just saw. Question 8. Does our line to join each activity to the best unit of time to measure it? Fly from London to New York. Of course, it'll be hours. Earn 100 meters? Seconds. 100 meter race is finished in maybe 20 seconds also. It's possible. Sail from London to New York? Days, of course. Sailing takes a long time. Cycle three kilometers, minutes. Doesn't take too long, but not that short, that's in seconds. Question nine. Carlos has five number cards. The mode is one and the sum is 11. Write the missing number on each card. So the mode is one. That means there should be at least two ones over here. So I'll just write two ones. The sum is 11. So add these five, we have 11. So far, when we add it, we get seven. So we need to add another 4 to get 11. So 4 is the last one. Question 10 is like how many millimeters are there in 15.5 centimeters? Just multiply by 10. We get 155 millimeters. Question 11. Here's some flaw on the scales, like the mass of the flaw. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4 gaps between 100 and 200. That means one gap one gap equals 100, which is the difference by four number of gaps, 25 grams. So 300 plus one, two, three gaps. So 300 plus 25 into three, which is equal to 375 grams. That's the answer. Question 12. Here's a recipe for leek and potato soup. So the recipe is over here. Eva makes soup for 12 people. 
completely less than the gradient. So 12 people is 6 into 2. This one serves 6. So you just multiply everything by 2 to get the number for 12. 1,400 grams for leeks. 750 grams potatoes. 815 to 2, 1,700 ml stock. 3 tablespoons cream and 130 grams butter. Question 13. Here's a right angle triangle and square grid. Right angle triangle is translated 2 squares right, 1 square down. So a right angle triangle in a new position. Use the ruler. So 2 squares right, 1, 2. Let's just take this point. 1 square down comes over here. So that point over here. Now the other points we draw using the same distance here. This one will be here. And this one will be here. Now we simply we need to use a ruler to draw this. Make sure your lines are all straight. That's the answer. Question 14. Match each fraction to equals and percentage. This is quite a simple question. So we can see 1 by 2. Multiply both sides by 50 to get the denominator as 100. 50 by 100. And now the top number, the numerator, is the percentage value. So 1 by 2 is 50%. Using the same thing, denominator is already 100, 3 is the numerator, because of that, 3%. And 7 by 10, multiply both sides by 10, we get 70 by 100, that means 70%. That's the answer. Question 15. The top number of the diagram is the sum of the two numbers below. Complete the diagram using the same rule. 3997 plus 4218. Add them, we get 8215. Now when you add these two, 6,005, we get 1, 4, 2, 2, 0. 3997 plus something is 6,005. So 6,005 minus 3997. That's equal to 2,008. That's the answer. Question 16. A train leaves at quarter past 8 in the evening. That's 8.15 p.m. Right? Quarter. 15 minutes past 8 in the evening, so p.m. Like the time using 24-hour clock system. 8.15 p.m. is 20.15 hours in 24 hours. That's the answer. Question 17. Dirting around all the multiples of 25 in the table. So if it's a multiple of 100, it's always a multiple of 25. It's a multiple of 50, it's a multiple of 25. We know that. So we can circle these two, just for starters. Now 535 divided by 25 will be 21.4 decimal. 765 similarly gives a decimal. 185 also, 260 also. 815 also, five numbers give decimal. Even this one, 430, the last number. Is 675 which is a multiple of 25 because when you divide by 25 we get 27 question 18 here are four numbers you use each one once to make the statements correct dash less than 36.2 so only two numbers here so we will find out which one we need to do later 72.6 is equal to dash plus dash so if we think okay 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 0 0.6 so we get that right but then when we add these two, we get 71.6. It's not right. So let's add the other two. Just try it out. And when we add these, we actually do get 72.6. So we can write these. I remember what I was saying of these two being the only ones over here. Now this one's gone. This one's gone. This one has to be there. 35.2. And the last one, 36.4, fits over here. Since it is... Where than 35.1. That's the answer. Question 19. Write 13 by 8 is a mixed number. So 13 by 8, when we simplify, it becomes 1, 5 by 8. That's the answer. Question 20. Here are five number cards. The lines to match cards with the same value. 40 hundreds. Let's just write that in numbers. 4,000. 40 tens. 400, 400 hundreds, 40,000. 400 units is 400, 400 tens, 4,000. So you can match these two and we can match these two. This one does not have a match. That's the answer.
Question 31. Complete the following. This is quite a straightforward question. 0 0.77 is equal to 4.9. 4.8 divided by 6 is 0 0.8. 120 into 0 0.4 is 48. That's the answer. Question 20. Here's a shape on 5 mm squared grid. Hey, write the area of the shape in centimeters squared. So let's just separate this. I was separating this into three parts. So this is a five millimeter squared grid, right? So five millimeters is equal to one length like this. So this starting square, five, 10, 15, 20, that's the side length. 20, 20 in millimeters. So when you convert centimeters, two centimeters each. So this is four centimeters squared. Now over here for a rectangle, 20 millimeters is there in width, but the length is much more. It's equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 into 5 millimeters. So that's 80 millimeters. The full thing, I'll just draw like this, 80 millimeters. That's eight centimeters. This is two centimeters. So this will be 16 centimeters squared when multiplied. And this square is the same as this one. So it's also four centimeters squared. Total area is four plus 16 plus four, 24 centimeters squared. B, the shape is the net of a cube. At the length of one edge of the cube in centimeters. So this shape's the net of a cube. That means that these two squares are two opposite facing sides and this is the length of a cube so that will be two centimeters that's the answer question 20 hassan finds the product of two multiples of 10 answer is 2400 list all the calculations that give his answer so two multiples of 10 form 2400 so first thing we can think of is 10 into 240 then we can go forward with 20 into 120, 30 into 80, and 40 into 60, and is there any more? No, this is it. So these are the four calculations, since the next one's 50. But that doesn't work, since the other one will not be a multiple of 10. In reality, it's 50 into 48, but 48 is not a multiple of 10, right? And after that, 60, but we already have 60 here, so that's it. Question 20 is an incomplete calculation. Use only the digits 3, 6, and 7 to complete the calculation. Each digit can be used more than once. So which of these add up to a multiple of 10? That means ends in 0. 3 and 7, right? So 3 and 7, we add them up. This becomes 10. 1 carry over. Now which one becomes 9? 3 and 6. And then one carry over again because 10 and then 3 and 6 again. So this actually does make 1,000. So that's the answer. You can actually swap the positions of the 3s and 6s. Only this one should be the same. And the other two, the 3 and 6 can be anywhere. But this should be 3 plus 6. This should be 3 plus 6. That's it. Question 25. The line graph shows the average temperature in Athens for 8 months. Now he wants to raise the 8 ends in a month when the average temperature is higher than 20 degrees Celsius. List all the months you can choose. So I'll draw a line at 20 degrees Celsius. There we are. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4 months, which are October, November, April, and May. So we just write down the names of the months. October, we can write in the short form also. November, April. May. That's the answer. Question 26. The three two digit numbers are added together. Total is 60. Largest number is 9 multiplied by 3. Smallest number is a multiple of 6. Write the three numbers. So 9 multiplied by 3 is 27. Now, smallest number is multiple of 6. And that's the smallest number, remember. So let's take 6. 27 plus 6, 33. And then we add another 27. But then... We need this to be our largest. We can't have a duplicate. So let's pick 12. And that means there'll be a 21 here. And that's all right. So multiple of 6, 12. And then there's an extra 21. 
We add them at 60. There's 9 to 3, 27. There's a multiple of 6. There's also the smallest. That's the answer. Question 27. Pierre and Yuri think of a different number each. Yuri says, we double our numbers. My answer is 16 more than Pierre's number. Pierre's number is 23. Work out Yuri's number. So let's take Yuri's number as x. So 23 into 2, add 16. That'll be Yuri's number, x into 2. This is x, by the way. Now, that means 23 into 2, 46. 46 plus 16 is 62. So 62 is equal to 2x, 2 into x. x is equal to 31. That's the answer. Question 28, here's a number line. Estimate what number is shown by arrow A. And then draw an arrow to show the number 500 less than the number shown by arrow B. So arrow A, this distance is just before the halfway mark, this much below. And this can be estimated 1, 2, 3, 4 of the same distance comes from 0 to 5,000. This is 5,000. That means this can approximately be three-fourths of the way. That's 5,000 into 3 by 4, which is equal to 3,750, approximately. That's the answer. Now draw an arrow to show the number of fire and the less than number shown by arrow B. Arrow B is the same distance from 5,000 as arrow A, 3,750. That means this will be 1,250 away. Now we just add that, so we get 6,250. So 5,750 is what we need if we subtract 500, and that'll be approximately this much. That's the answer. Question 29. Safia says, you can solve the problem 16 to 34 by multiplying 34 by 10 and by 6, and then adding the two answers. Use Safia's method to calculate 16 into 9. You must show you're working. So 16 to 9 is equal to, using Safia's method, 10 to 9 plus 6 into 9. That'll be equal to 90 plus 54. That's equal to 144. That's the answer. With that, I come to the end of my video. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and family, and comment on how you think this video was. And also, what you would like us to upload in the future. With that, it's me, Sanjeevasu, signing out. Thank you. Bye.